Hello everyone, welcome to the new video by Talent Battle. I hope all of you have started with your Infinity Cube preparation for the qualifying round. Uh, we also have started posting various videos for your preparation related to aptitude and technical part. Soon we'll be uploading many more videos. Uh, you can just check out our playlist on YouTube. So in today's video, we are going to focus or discuss about the important topics and uh, syllabus you can say because many of the students were asking us the exact syllabus or what topics they need to prepare for aptitude, DBMS, Java and Python. So uh, in this video, we are going to talk more about it. One more thing I would like to mention, I have come across some of the YouTube videos where the title mentions that it is the Infinity Q syllabus. But if you check out the video, it is nothing more than pattern. So we have already uploaded the pattern around a week before and also told you how to register for Infinity Q exam around three to four days before. And today we are going to discuss about the actual syllabus, not just the pattern which others are discussing, but the actual syllabus or the topics which you need to focus on for your preparation. So the main question is from where we have found out this syllabus or topics. So Infinity Q or Infosys have not uh, officially announced any kind of topics or syllabus, but yes, they have launched the sample test. So we have a very honest approach of finding out the syllabus and the important topics for any particular exam. Now you are in the third year, in the few months you might face various campus placements and you might come across uh, various uh, YouTube videos or online placement companies uh, claiming to have tie-ups with various companies and that's why they know the syllabus and pattern. So uh, don't fall for such words or such uh, companies because uh, never a company is going to directly promote their syllabus. If they uh, just tell the syllabus, then it will be on their official website. So what we have actually done to uh, find out the important topics and syllabus is that uh, InfiniTQ have already launched their sample test. Along with that, we are also having the previous year questions. So now our expert trainers from aptitude and technical part have analyzed these particular papers of previous year InfiniTQ, that is the last year InfiniTQ exam and the sample test. And from that we have come up with this syllabus. So it is nothing like a rocket science, but we are making your uh, work easy. This you can also do, you can go through the previous year papers. You can just check out the sample test. You can check out each question and check out what concept that question is based on. So even you can do it, but we have made your work easier for, we have done it for you. So we have analyzed all the previous year, uh, slot questions. We have analyzed the sample questions and we are coming up with this particular syllabus. So maybe there is a chance that there can be some points which we have not mentioned because those were not asked previously or in the sample test, but may come for the exam. But uh, since I think only uh, you can say 15, 20 days are remaining, not even 20 days, 15 days are remaining for the exam. Uh, we thought about giving you at least one direction and uh, at least some topics which you can prepare and which have been previously asked in the uh, uh, InfiniTQ exam and also the sample paper. So let us start. So uh, we all know this pattern. There is a qualifying round, 40 questions, 60 minutes, Java, Python, 20 questions, whichever language you opt for, uh, DBMS, 10 questions, aptitude, 10 questions. Now, first we'll focus on the aptitude section. So just check guys, aptitude uh, is full focused on the quants and reasoning part. So uh, on the left hand side, the topics which I have mentioned are the important topics. Uh, why I'm calling these topics important is that because last year in every slot, there was at least one question on these topics. Okay. And the topics on the right, those are the topics which were there in some slots and absent in some other slot. Okay. So these topics, percentage, average, inequalities, algebraic word problems, time work pipe system and chain rule type of problems on time work, simple interest, compound interest, uh, sitting arrangement and data arrangement puzzle. So these were the topics which were there in every uh, slot last year and it is even there in the uh, sample uh, test which InfiniTQ has provided. So these are the topics which you need to first focus on. Apart from that, if you still get time to prepare, then you can focus on topics like ages, probability, permutation combination, direction sense, discount related problems, allegation mixture, Venn diagram or syllogisms and HCF LCM. Okay, so the topics on the left are very, very important because they are uh, asked in every slot. So try to start with these topics and then you can go on the topics from the right. So this is about aptitude. Uh, definitely the level of difficulty is medium. Uh, some uh, you can say out of 10 questions, one or two questions will be easy and difficult. Seven to eight questions will be medium. Okay. So medium level in the sense you will at least take around uh, two minutes uh, to solve one question. 
so uh, don't worry about how to approach definitely we are going to create that last minute preparation video for all of you like we created for goldman sachs so if you are aware about it we had created one video for goldman sachs last minute preparation uh, thousands of students watched that video and they were able to crack the first round so uh, even we are going to do that for infidq so don't worry about it now uh, when it comes to dbms uh, the level of difficulty is moderate uh two questions uh, can be difficult but remaining 7 to 8 questions are again moderate see qualifying round is going to be of a moderate level because uh, definitely it is not going to be very very easy next uh, so so uh, in dbms if you check the main concepts which are required are table properties data types uh, foreign key candidate key primary key this is i have termed as important uh, the reason is that there were more than one questions if you check guys there are only 10 questions of dbms but there are several concepts so uh sometimes when they ask uh, two questions on a concept that topic becomes uh, important so foreign key candidate key primary key this i am terming as important apart from that ddl dml dcl commands join concept group by concept normalization concept and some questions on mongodb so each of these ha having one one questions in the test and maybe uh, two questions on foreign key candidate key primary key so uh, at least when you are preparing for dbms uh, out of the vast syllabus you can at least focus on these topics to start for next uh, java so for uh, java basically you need to focus on class abstraction exception handling again important i am terming because one or more than one questions were asked loops inheritance iterators access specifiers so there were combinations of loops class abstraction and inheritance so combinations of questions were created to increase the level of difficulty definitely they are going to ask questions based on dsa important data structures concepts like queue dq array searching algorithms there were some questions on greedy approach and dynamic programming and then linked list and stack now i have uh, put linked list and stack on in the second point the reason is that uh, when we did analysis of previous year papers in java there were, were basically no questions based on linked in and stack but definitely there is a chance that they will put the questions okay so uh, we cannot omit that so important data structures like link list stack queue array dq so all these are important so you need to focus on that questions were there last time on queue dq array searching algorithm the and the link list stack definitely there can be chance that this time they ask the question so you need to go through these topics if you have opted for java for your uh, exam okay next python loops very important because two questions were asked there were uh, questions uh, which were uh, a combination of loops and other concepts if else and nested uh, if else loops were uh, questions were asked okay then there were decision making questions exception handling questions uh, hash function abstract class inheritance multi level inheritance were asked then there were questions on data structure algorithm linked list queue dq stack search in algorithm and array okay so guys uh, i hope uh, that uh, if you go through the syllabus then uh, at least you have got a little idea about how you need to start your aptitude dbms python and java uh, basically your preparation for infitq i hope you have found this video useful so one more point which i forgot to mention is that in python or java test there will be code snippets even there can be questions like which of the following options is the best to execute the above code so such type of questions will be there definitely examples and sample questions we have already uploaded on youtube and we are going to upload more questions on that also so most important if you are preparing for infitq then follow our uh, instagram page subscribe to our youtube channel press the bell icon you can also join our telegram discussion group and channel and the whatsapp group link for all these channels is given in the description of this video so you can also join our instagram page basically on instagram page we create post of these videos so basically when i create this particular video right now about the syllabus i will also create a instagram post which you can save and become it can become accessible for you anytime uh, instead of watching the entire video you can also go through that uh, particular post which will be helpful so instagram page link is also given in the description of this video so thank you guys for watching the video till the end and uh, hope you have liked the video and see you in the next video thank you